I took you from your resting place in the desert. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Shall I brush my hair first? We're looking at Ghosts That Still Walk, a title I like on a film I don't. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? After his mother's breakdown, 15-year-old Mark finds himself suffering from head pain that doctors cannot explain. Of course, all the tests show Mark to be perfectly fine physically. So Grandma Alice takes him to see psychiatrist Dr. Sills. But while he's there, I want to know everything about you. He is mesmerized by a talking basket, <laughs> which he mistakes for his mother. I'll teach you, mother. I'll teach you. Sigmund Freud never mentioned that. For some reason, Dr. Sills decides to hypnotize Alice. Deeper and deeper. Takes three minutes just to put her under. It makes you sleepy, Alice. So sleepy. Maybe it's possible to bore someone into a hypnotic state. Now I want you to move ahead. You want to move ahead? Let's get to the heart of Mark's problem. All the appliances are brand spanking new. Which I'm sure starts with his granny and granddad buying an RV. I can't stress enough how long this is just Alice and Harold's holiday video. You know, I just love this kitchen. <laughs> All the comforts and home. But then... <laughs> damn thing has a mind of its own. They've bought a haunted motorhome, but even this is a letdown, and for two reasons. Firstly, they're out of control for five minutes. Oh my God! We're going off the road! That's a long time to watch a car swerving. The second problem is how the ghost manifests. <laughs> Is it adjusting the seat? Must be a short ghost. Then... It's not turning the keys, it's playing with them. Is it the ghost of a cat? Once they've stopped, because the ghost is as competent as it is scary, something else happens. What is it? I don't know, but it's not gathering moss. Looks like Mick Jagger. It's the devil. Or at least has sympathy with him. I like this scene, despite these stones working together. But again, it's way too long to maintain any tension. Especially since the stones keep missing. Next up, the ghost is back behind the wheel while Harold is on the roof. My God! Hilarious. Dr. Sills has one more question for Alice. Were you taking any medication or any drug that day? Well, I dropped acid and Harold was faced on crack, but no more than usual. Why don't I wake up? After listening to Alice's What I Did on My Holidays, Dr. Sills' next move is obvious. Mark is the one who needs your time. She reads Mark's mother's notes on her next book about discovering a mummy. <coughs> Either the ghost o is going nuts or the editor has hiccups. Your astral body must not stay locked up. Mom now starts talking to the mummy. How did you learn to make these beautiful baskets? Share the secrets of your weaving. I can't write anymore. I can't do anything except... Just stopped mid-sentence, did she? Finally, Dr. Sills hypnotises Mark himself. Your body is becoming numb. I'm not sure it is. Mark remembers the night after he heard his mother talking to the mummy. My body. On the bed. Moving. His own spirit wanders off as the released spirit of the mummy possesses him and puts on his pyjamas. I can't quite
quite take this seriously. I just want to go home. A cry echoed in every cinema where this was shown. It's, it's like a, a horror movie. Not much it's not. Some things we can't really demonstrate in these reviews, so you just have to take my word for it. Every scene in this is too long. Are you sure I'm not dead? There's good stuff, The Rocks in particular, and good ideas for which I do give them credit. But this is so boring that the boredom becomes like a physical thing. I feel I've survived. Well, let's see how to put this. Most movies are boring because nothing is happening or happening too slowly. In this, stuff happens, it happens at the right speed, but it just keeps on happening. I feel like I want to pass out. Someone swerving a car and skidding to a halt is exciting. Someone swerving a car for five minutes before skidding to a halt is not. You were in a trance for nearly two hours. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever come across this specific problem before, which is something I suppose, but good grief, hire an editor. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This movie was recommended to us by one of our Patreon supporters. If you'd like to choose a film for us to review, then join us on Patreon at Shadow Level. What are your favourite films featuring hypnotism? Let us know in the comments below. I'll be right back.